Hey, are you tired of being stuck at the same English level? Do you want to improve your English and speak with more confidence? Then today's lesson is for you. I'm going to give you seven ways to improve your English right now. You ready? Well then, I'm teacher Tiffany. Let's jump right in. All right, way number one, watch English movies and TV shows. That's right. You have to watch English movies and TV shows. Let me explain. You see, watching movies, English movies, and TV shows is a great way to immediately, immediately start improving your English. This can be a fun and engaging way to improve your listening skills and pick up new vocabulary. Remember to watch movies and shows that you find interesting. Now I'm going to give you three reasons why this is so amazing, but I want to tell you this. You see, I learned to speak Korean. So I understand the struggles that you go through trying to learn a new language, trying to speak like a native English speaker. It can be challenging. And along your English journey, you have studied many books. You have written lots of essays or written lots of things in English. And sometimes you get overwhelmed because you might get boring. But this way, this method will not only help you learn a lot, but help you finally enjoy the process. I did the same thing when I was learning to speak Korean. I watched tons of English, excuse me, Korean dramas. <laughs> <laughs> I started thinking about English, right? Because I'm teaching you English, but no, I watched tons of Korean dramas and I was so immersed with the dramas. I loved what they were talking about. And I was learning naturally new Korean words, new Korean expressions. And you can do the same thing following this method, following this way. Again, watching English movies and TV shows. Here's the first reason this will help you improve your listening skills as you're learning English. Yes. Your goal is to speak English fluently in order to speak fluently though. You must improve your listening skills. So doing this will help you improve your listening skills. Second, as you watch, you will also pick up new vocabulary and expressions that are used in real life. That's the key. You may have tons of English books with wonderful vocabulary words, wonderful expressions, and that's great. But sometimes the words you learn from books are not used in real life anymore. When you watch English movies and TV shows, you will learn the words and expressions that are used in real life. The third reason why this way is so important is you will learn about different accents and cultures. You see, I live in America. America is a huge country and someone from the East coast. I'm from the East coast sounds different from someone from the South, deep South. We have different accents. There are different aspects as well of our culture, even though we are Americans. So when you watch English movies, when you watch English television shows and dramas, you will understand new accents. You'll understand little parts of cultures that are found in different parts of America. This is why it's so beneficial to watch English movies and English TV shows. Make sense. All right, let's go to number two. The second way read English books and articles. English books and articles. So this is one of the most effective ways to improve your English skills. It can be a relaxing way to learn many new things, but remember to read things that you are interested in. I want to focus on this part before I explain the three reasons or give you the three reasons. You don't just want to read everything. There are tons of books, tons of books that you can choose from. But if you really want to improve your English, speak English better. You heard me right. Reading helps you speak better. You need to find books about topics you are interested in. If you like cooking, read cooking books. If you like love stories, find a book that talks about great love stories, right? If you enjoy learning about different technologies, 
Find a book that talks about technology. Make sure you're finding books and articles written in English that are about topics you, my friend, are already interested in. Here's the first reason why. As you read, your comprehension and critical thinking skills will naturally start to improve. This is amazing. First of all, you are amazing. You speak your own language and you're learning another language. You're already amazing. Your brain is awesome. So as you read things in English, your brain will start processing the information, improving your critical thinking skills and your comprehension. The second reason why this way is so important. Each book and each article you read will help you learn new vocabulary. I love helping the students that are in my academy. I have an academy, Speak English with Tiffany Academy. The link is right below. Each student, as they're learning with me, they realize, wait a minute, Tiff, I'm learning new vocabulary words. Wait a minute, Tiff, I'm learning new expressions via the video lessons, via the, the, uh, uh, the articles or the eBooks. They're learning new things naturally as they go through lessons. And the same thing will happen for you. As you read books and articles, you'll learn new vocabulary naturally. Finally, this will also help your grammar improve in a natural way. Man, this has happened so many times. Students have come to me. They wanted me to be their teacher. They joined my academy. They said, Tiff, I want to improve my English. I want to improve my grammar. I said, hey, I don't teach grammar, but your grammar will improve. And they kind of look at me if we're on a video call or they say in an email, like, how does that, how does that work? I said, don't worry, just trust me. A few months down the line, their grammar has improved. This is what happens when you read English books, when you read articles, the exact same thing will happen. Your grammar will improve. Why? Because your brain is still processing the information. It's processing the patterns that it's finding as you're reading through these articles and books. Your grammar will naturally improve. Way number two, read English books and articles. What about way number three? Listen to English music. This is effective. Now, you know that I love music. I, actually, you know what? Before I give you the breakdown, I'm going to give you a short song. Real, You know what? No. Stay till the end. During story time, I'll give you a song. All right, here's the breakdown. Listening to English music is a way to learn English with out any stress. It can be a nice break from your usual study routine. Remember though, to listen to music that you like. If you like soft music, if you like fast music, find music that you like and listen to it, making sure it has English lyrics. Why is this so powerful? Reason number one, this will help you improve your ability to understand various accents. When people sing songs, their accents also can come out and it will improve your listening skills. Second, as you listen, you will learn many real life vocabulary words and idioms. I remember when I was studying Korean, our teachers would do this for us. During class, they would play Korean music and we'd hear new words. We'd hear new idioms. It's a very natural and stress-free way to improve your English. And finally, the reason why this is such a good way, you will also learn interesting things about American culture as you listen to the words of the songs. Songs tell stories, so you can improve your English as you're listening. So don't forget, listen to English music. The fourth way, very important way, practice writing in English. This is also very important. You see, writing in English will give you the opportunity to organize your thoughts and process information in English. This can be a great way to connect English to your daily life. Processing your thoughts, organizing your thoughts, thinking about your day and writing it down. This can help you improve your English. Reason number one, as you practice writing in English, your grammar will also improve. Remember, we talked about it in the previous way. Again, understanding the importance of reading a lot. 
You're learning patterns. Then when you go to write, your brain will naturally say, hey, we learned this pattern when you were reading that book or that article. Now apply. Use that pattern as you write about your day. Again, as you write and practice writing in English, your grammar will also improve. Second reason, the more you write in English, the more your ability to think critically in English will also improve. Your critical thinking skills are super important. They will help you speak English more fluently. And finally, this will give you a way to track and record your progress. Remember, we're talking about seven ways to improve your English right now, no matter where you are. Trust me, these will work. These ways, these methods. Here we go. Number five. Be active in online forums. Online forums are very important. You see, being active and participating in online forums will actually help you feel more confident in your ability to speak English. Remember, though, to select forums that are about topics that actually interest you. Remember, your whole goal is to speak English fluently. Your whole goal is to improve your English. So you need to find different ways to use it. And online forums are amazing. You can practice, you can speak with other people and understand new words and expressions. So here's reason number one. The more active you are, the more English writing practice you will get. As you're responding to comments in the forum, as you're responding to posts or even posting your own messages, your English will improve and you'll get lots of practice. Second, as you participate in the online discussions, you will naturally learn new vocabulary and idioms because people from all over the world will be in these forums using new words, new idioms, new expressions, and you'll be observing and reading them and learning at the same time. Third, this will also give you another way to connect with other learners and native speakers. Remember, English is not about, this language is not about you just reading books and staying in your own little space. No, you want to explore, expand your horizons, talk to other people, use what you're learning, and online forums will help you do that. Remember, ways to improve your English right now. I mean, right now, even after this video, find a forum. After listening to this podcast, if you're listening to it, find a forum and start practicing your English. Way number six, practice with a partner. This is so important. You see, practicing what you learn with someone else will make the learning process much more enjoyable. Remember, it is important to find a partner, though, that is at your same level. You see, when you practice what you learn, you'll remember it and you'll also apply it when you're speaking. But when you practice with a partner, you'll learn even more and enjoy the process. Here's reason number one why I think this way is so important for you to put into practice now. You will learn new things from each other as you practice. That's right. You can help each other. Next, as you practice, your communication skills will also improve. You're practicing, you're communicating, making sure your partner understands what you're saying and also making sure you understand what your partner is saying and your English will constantly and consistently improve. Third reason, the more you practice, the more confident you will feel in your ability to speak English. When you feel confident, your English will start improving. Trust me, it works. What about way number seven? Again, something you can do right now. Use flashcards. Using flashcards is a great way to review what you are learning. You see, the more you review, the easier it will be for you to remember words when you get into real English conversations. This is a powerful way to improve your English right now. Here's reason number one. The flashcards. They will help you organize the words you know and the words you need to work on. 
practicing over and over again. Reason number two, you will be able to quiz yourself and others because you have flashcards. Once again, you will be able to quiz yourself and others because you have flashcards practicing back and forth, back and forth. And finally, reason number three, this will also help you keep track of all the new words and concepts you are learning. Flashcards, using flashcards, this is a powerful way to improve your English now. So once again, don't forget the power of using these seven ways to improve your English now. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I will talk to you in the next one. But also, don't forget to speak English. You still there? You know what time it is. It's story time. Hey, I said it's story time. All right, I told you earlier for story time today that I was going to sing a short song for you. Now, when I was growing up, I truly enjoyed singing at church, at school, everywhere. And even now, and even when I was in Korea, I was known as the singing teacher. I'd always be singing and I, as I was going throughout the hallway. So I want to sing a song that I sung many times when I was growing up at church. It was called Sign Me Up. And some of you have heard this song before and some of you haven't. So I'll sing a short portion of this song. Again, I'm a Christian. I love God. He's the reason why I'm so happy. So I want to share this song with you, a song that I sang when I was growing up. Sign Me Up. Here we go. Sign me up for the Christian Jubilee. Just write my name, write my name on the road. I've been changed, I've been changed since the Lord has lifted me. I want to be, got to be ready when Jesus comes. Won't you sign me up? <laughs> I wasn't going to do that part, but I started feeling it. But yes, one of my favorite songs growing up was Sign Me Up. I'm sure you have your favorite song as well. If you're watching this video, share it with us in the comment section. Type out the title. Hope you enjoy the lesson, and I'll talk to you in the next one.